everybody, it's me, Kyle, and welcome to what once was one of the most populated places on planet Earth. Welcome to Palau Badong, Malaysia. This is the Vietnamese refugee camp experience today. trying to figure out, as we're walking through the jungle, I'm trying to figure out like what's the remnants of the past and what's the remnants of the not too long ago. Uh, a lot of this stuff is clearly here after the Vietnamese and a lot of this stuff is likely here prior to the Vietnamese and during the Vietnamese period. So I'm trying to figure out what is what. So did somebody have to come and pump it? They bring the water here? These are the old clothes left back behind here. This right here. Oh my gosh. Clearings like these behind me here at one time, you can imagine all makeshift houses and huts. Because this island at one time housed upwards of 40,000 people. Some say 60,000 at one time. On YouTube, if you don't have enough mosquitoes. So just trying to trek through this dirt area without hitting some holes or whatnot. I'm trying to think to myself, like, how did these people, how did the Vietnamese people just survive out here when this place was pretty much a jungle? <laughs> We're just looking at the back here. Right. What's left from the concrete and the tin roofs. Not much is left. Vidong, out of all the other Vietnamese refugee camps that I've been to, is definitely the most difficult to get to, the most difficult to access, and the most difficult to see. It's quite um, Wang So, right? Very natural. All the other ones have museums or some kind of display. Here, there are monuments, and there's a jungle for you to explore. And you should come to explore as soon as possible before this place gets taken back by the jungle. Is it broken? sleeves and long pants for that very reason. Uh, I knew it was going to be a mosquito fest out here. 
and just that example alone, I just want to imagine what it was like back then for those people who lived here. And I'm sure it was a lot worse back then to endure all those mosquitoes. Jesus, just look at this. I don't know if you can see all of them. Water was also a major issue out here. Fresh, clean water, that is. That was the most precious thing. Yeah, you finished mine and you needed more than me. Oh, you drank most of the water. That's my water. No, no. The one you drank my water no, too. I didn't. Yeah, you did. The one that's open is mine. No, you. No, I, I had two gulps. I, I had two gulps. Who drank this? Who drank this? Not, not me. me. I, you had it most of the time. I did not drink it. Please, we're already fighting over the water. Just thinking about people from the past. They paved the way for us to come back here and to not have to endure. But even being here and knowing that we're gonna go back, it, it's, it's still difficult. Right? Nevertheless, the mosquito bites, the heat, it is intensely hot out here. Way hotter than Vietnam, I would say. Um, that jungle is very difficult because people hear, oh, they're on an island or whatever, right? Stop scratching. It's, it's so, it's, it's, I'm in a lot of pain. So some people might hear that, oh, it's an island, but it's not that kind of an island. This island is rough. I mean, that jungle is quite unforgiving. <sighs> that landscape though, I mean, the, the wilderness has taken back what men have built. I'm just sitting here eating this, looking at the coral. Oh my god, it reminds me of the time when Vietnamese men would swim offshore because there's a lot of boats that couldn't reach, of course, right? It's shallow water. So they had to swim all the way out there to get supplies. Uh, canned chicken, for example, uh, noodles. That is a wrap here from Palau Badong. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please check out my other Vietnamese refugee camp videos in the description below. If you're new to my channel, I make videos of Vietnam and Asia all the time. I want to emphasize again, you guys need to come here. Even if you were never here, even if you don't have any relatives here, if you care about Vietnam, the Vietnamese people, the Vietnamese refugee experience, the Vietnamese diaspora, the VQ experience, this is a great place to start. Vietnamese second generations and soon to be third generations need to know about their background and this, <laughs> this is where your parents came from. This is where their struggles came from. Oh, this is talking about, it makes me kind of emotional thinking about the trials and tribulations starting from the boat to the ocean to here on this land. And trust me, this land, it wasn't easy. <laughs> So you need to come here and you need to experience it for yourself to know what your parents went through. Or at least to better understand them, for that matter. I understand a lot more about myself and the Vietnamese diaspora abroad just from coming to all these camps. Come here before it's too late, before nature, before the government cleans this place up. Thank you for watching. I'm going to head out. Got a boat to catch. KyleA.net. Facebook.com slash KyleA.net. Follow me on social media, guys. Take care. Thank you again. Goodbye. Vietnam? Where? Vietnam? Uh, Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah. Vietnam? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Vietnam. Why you do that to me? Why'd you make me happy? I got happy. Why'd you do that? <laughs>